friends, friends, hello again. Uh, I will explain very briefly uh, how the properties for n of one for any individual would be different from properties of a collective with a very simple uh, example, quite convincing, uh, related to probability distributions. Uh, so let's take uh, a, a uniform distribution. Let's say every x, x1, x2, up to xn, each one of them follows a uh, uniform distribution. That's what you get, you know, when you generate a randomized a uniform distribution. You see, is between zero and one, they're all flat. Now let's add two of them. <laughs> now the group now is composed of two how the behavior of probability distribution of two is going to be different from that of one. Look at that. You have a triangle distribution when you add up two uniforms. So the group, the collective, is, follows a triangle distribution when the individuals follow a uh, uniform. And of course, we're going to uh, recover the Gaussian here. Okay, you add five, and look, you almost have a Gaussian. And if you add ten, you got pretty much something totally indistinguishable, indistinguishable from a Gaussian. So what the the so you can see very easily here how the properties of groups are different from properties of individual. Each one of them being a member of that group, and they're all identical and how you cannot flow down from the group to the individuals. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.